Hi, it's Felicia Slattery, and I am back with another client, and I wanted to tell you a little bit about what it's like working with me. So, hi, this is Tassie Russo. Tassie, tell everybody about yourself. Hello, Felicia. So happy to be here. Uh, I am the owner of Level Up Solutions, which is a marketing strategy uh, consulting firm, and I work with transitioning executives who are going into the entrepreneurial space and also business owners who have uh, stood up their business one or two years ago and find that as those transitioning corporate executives, that, you know, there are just some things that they didn't know going into this, uh, putting their business up and uh, getting it going, getting the level of revenue that they wanted. And I help them in looking at that, understanding what strategies they can put in place and how they can really find a higher yield uh, and a longer, more sustainable business path for them to take. Awesome. Now, you have um, a very impressive corporate background. You are one of the people who put in fact, in charge of putting NASDAQ on the internet. Is that right? I was in the 90s. Uh, it, was, it was a very exciting, what I like to say, a very heady time. <laughs> and uh, in 94, I suggested to uh, the management uh, that we look at uh, bringing in what was then called the World Wide Web. <laughs> and they said, yeah, let's go ahead. Let's investigate it. So that's how it started back in uh, 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 we actually started working on the implementation in 1995. And you and managed that process, is that right? I managed that process. I managed uh, with my team to put up the first NASDAQ.com site. And we were also uh, the site within the United States that received the first eight BlackBerry uh, devices when uh, BlackBerry or the REM technology company still wasn't sure that the technology of having email at your fingertips <laughs> in your hand was going to catch on. Little did they know in so many ways now that we look back. <laughs> right. Oh, wow. That's so cool. So how, um, so you went from that to, to eventually starting your own business. So why did you decide in the beginning to work with me? What was like, how, how did you decide that? I was on a webinar that you held with another individual that I've been following for, I believe it's seven years now. And it was about video and how to look at video from a speaker's perspective. And what I had been doing at the time, Felicia, if you may recall, I had done some live streams mm -hmm. and they were successful. I had people on the live stream, but it, it seemed that with every live stream that I did, I, when I looked at myself, I felt that I became, I'll use the word I used with you, I thought I was stilted in my delivery. That was very uh, mechanical, very stiff. And in listening to you, I just thought, wow, she's got a verb and a vibrancy. And certainly you had the credentials as a very well-known, highly sought after speaker. And I thought, I need to get the advice of this woman. I need to find out how I can stand in front of a camera and do what I do when I'm live in front of a group or an audience. Okay. And that's what really made me pick up the phone and say, can we talk? Yeah. Uh, when we first talked, what I really asked you was, I don't feel comfortable on camera. And I was looking at my body language and the way that I stood and the content. And then you said, well, let me tell you, the first thing that I want you to know is that you have to wear lipstick. <laughs> and I really was taken aback at first and I thought really this is what she's going to tell me I have to wear lipstick but I have really taken that to be the overall message of it's got to be the complete package and you have to really look at 
how you want to present. And then once you start to look at that and you wind that together with, or read that together with who you are really trying to reach and with what message, what services, that becomes truly the total package. But you should not forget those other things that feed to that. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it can be as simple as wearing more lipstick, which I do all the time now. <laughs> Almost every day, certainly every day I am out and speaking with people. I wear lipstick and darker lipstick, Felicia. <laughs> How about that. So I mean, so you yeah. said you said when we were off camera that like that lipstick comment actually had some serious impact on you and how you really looked at the way you were presenting. It did. Uh, it's, I know it seems minor, but I stood back and I said, what am I wearing? How am I standing? Uh, do, yeah, I didn't have a lot of makeup on. What's my hair look like? It's every part of being a speaker and performing as a speaker. Mm -hmm. And lipstick and your comment it was a very small thing that made me start to look at the whole, mm -hmm. the whole picture, the you whole know, to me as a speaker. What's interesting about that is there have been studies done that show that women who wear makeup, including lipstick, make significantly more money than women who don't. What, so whether that's fair or not is beside the point. It, it is. And in your case, it was... It was a confidence issue. And when we look our best, we feel our best from the inside. And when we feel our best from the inside, that commute that comes out and it's communicated that like I'm comfortable in my own skin and I feel good about being here. And that's what you were missing was that that internal level of confidence that I knew slapping a little lipstick on because you're smart like you don't need me to tell you. You are a, a very intelligent person. So Thank he you. needed you Thank to you. own that and feel it as you were in front of a camera. And the and cost of a tube of lipstick, if the cost of a tube of lipstick does that, I went right over to the store and bought that plus. Because <laughs> <laughs> you, you were like, you know, I don't know if I should really even be doing this. And people keep telling me I'm too corporate. And as we talked more about it, I was like, well, you're only too corporate to people who want to wear jeans and t-shirts, but people who are corporate are like you, they loved you. And so really it was just a matter of tweaking the audience that you were talking to. And when you did that, talk about some of the results and some things that happened. Well, I started working with Felicia with you in August of uh, 2015, and that fall was 2014. We're in 2015 today. 2014. Yeah, it's Sorry. been a while. Yeah. Yes, uh, I started working with you in August 2015, and that fall, I please edit that. We'll out. edit that out. Uh, I started working with you in August of 2014. And the fall of 2014 was incredible. I had three presentations at major conferences. From each of those presentations, I was able to book between sixteen and twenty thousand dollars of business from each of those. I, from each of those. From each of times those, three. Times three. Yeah, you I was also able to really look at how I developed the speeches going into those conferences because you helped me with the formatting of what a good signature speech should be and how you can move people through that presentation, get them very engaged in what you're having to say and what you offer, and especially that last part have them sit up and say, I need more of what she has. Mm -hmm. So it was an incredible fall for me. And even more importantly, what resulted from the time that we worked together was a shift in my business focus because I started to network and started to have conversations with people who were in uh, small to mid-sized companies and also who were 
in a managerial position, if not C-level position within the, those companies. Mm -hmm. Because I took to heart what you said, Felicia, which was you really appeal to people, you appeal to people in the corporate entity. You appeal to people because of your corporate background, because of the way that you move your clients through a business review and looking at their strategies and putting a plan in place. This is very procedural. It's very corporate-like. Why don't you talk to them? And I've taken that to heart. And a year later, which is where we're at today as we speak, I have been working with an identity consultant, changing my brand, changing my messaging. I have really looked at saying by the end of this year, I'm going to come out and be that consulting firm that can help, yes, still the solopreneur, but with more focus on those small businesses that have 15 to 25 people, if not a little bit more, and because I understand them and they will understand how I want to work with them to get them where they need to go. You really started this process for me a year ago. And so I thank you. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so excited too to see just to see you coming into your own and, and like embracing who you really are. I mean, that's probably the one of the most exciting. Yes, I love to see when my clients make money and they're successful, but I really love to see you coming into and, and embracing who you are and, and not feeling like I have to change myself and you know, this, I'm not, well, of course you're not a good fit for the right, for the wrong people, <laughs> but you're the perfect fit for the right people. So, um, I'm, I'm thrilled to see that in your evolution. So would it be safe to say that you would recommend hiring me as, as a coach? Well, you actually read my mind because one of the other things I wanted to add is this. I will first answer your question very directly. Yes, I would recommend you as a coach. There is no doubt in my mind about that. I would like to say that, you know, very, very often we as entrepreneurs and as professionals think that we know it all. We think that, hey, I've got this. I've, I've read the books. I've worked with uh, you know, online courses. I've gone to webinars. Well, you even had a big to... name coach at one point. I had a very big name coach, very nationally known, very uh, high profile individual that I worked with. And yet I wasn't finding my voice. And when you do find an individual that can help you and, and pretty quickly see who you are and to find that voice and then to help you position that voice and get it out to the world, that's where we all want to be. That's where we should all look to be. And very frequently, we can't do that ourselves. We have to have help. And yes, you are an individual. You are a coach and a business consultant who can really help people do that find their voice, find where they need to be, and be that successful business person that they really look to be. Thank you so much. That is so nice of you to say. I, re I really appreciate you being here and taking your time today. So if someone wants to learn more about you, um, where can they go for that? They can go to my website, which is www.levelupsolutions.com. Or they can email me at T Russo, T R U S S O, at levelupsolutions.com. Thank you. And so I, I am thrilled to be here and to let people know how fantastic you are. <laughs> oh, you're so awesome. Well, thank you so much. I'm going to stop the recording and let you get back to your, your customers. And um, you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you soon.